Hello everyone, welcome back to our science year 2 lesson. We are still in unit 6, light and dark. What are we going to learn today? Yes, we're going to learn about these two topics, the shadow play and create a paper puppet play. Hmm, sounds interesting, isn't it? So without wasting much time, if you're ready, let's get to it. Let's go. Alright, let us start this lesson with some revision. In previous lesson, we have learned that a shadow is formed when light is blocked by an object. You still remember that? We have done experiment on this, isn't it? And we also have learned that different objects produce certain clarity of shadows, such as clear, less clear, or no shadow at all. I hope you remember this. Alright, now let us look at your science year 2 textbook page 69. You can see this topic, the shadow play. What is shadow play? Alright, the most popular shadow play is wayang kulit. Have you ever seen wayang kulit? It's good if you have seen wayang kulit before, good for you. Notice the shadow form on the white screen during the wayang kulit show. Hmm, this is the screen. The white screen is supposed to be white and this is the character right the character and then the image that you can see here is the shadow of the character and of course behind this image is behind this character is the light right the source of light and then in the shadow play the shadow of the character is similar to the object of the character shadow is clear because the object of the character does not allow light to pass through hmm sounds familiar isn't it we have done this investigation previous in our previous lesson i hope you still remember next let us look at this question amin and kairol are flashing light onto a tree from different directions how many shadows of the tree are formed why now we look at this picture this is amin and this is chiral they are pointing a light flashlight to the tree onto a tree from different direction the question here is how many shadows of the tree are formed hmm. there are two sources of light here from amin and from chiral's flashlight and then the question here how many shadows are formed hmm. do you know the answer and why if you think there's only one shadow why if you think there are more than one shadow why is that so all right i'll give you, i'll share with you the answer all right two shadows are formed because the light from two sources are blocked by the tree you see here there are two sources of light the light from amin's flashlight and the light from Cairo's flashlight there are two sources of light and both sources of light are blocked by this object which is the tree so the shadow there are two shadows form all right everyone i know not all of us have seen wayang kulit before isn't it now i will show to you the characters of wayang kulit from this video let us look together Alright, these are the few examples of the characters of Wayang Kulit. Next, I will show to you how they make the characters of Wayang Kulit. Alright, I know it is not complete if you cannot see how they play the Wayang Kulit, isn't it? So now I will share to you how they play Wayang Kulit. Alright? So basically, they have the story behind this, alright? Behind these moving characters, they have the, their own stories. See how they move this? This is the shadow of the character. And behind this screen, the white screen, they have one light. Right? This is how they play Bayang Kulit. Alright everyone, I know we cannot create our own shadow play like wayang kulit it took us years of practice but we can create a paper puppet play such as 
the one you can see in your textbook page 70 until 71 all right to create a paper puppet play there are two main things that we need to prepare we have to make paper puppet stage and paper character all right first of all to make paper puppet stage there are few materials that we need to prepare and also paper characters these are the materials scissors mahjong paper adhesive tap torch box and clay this is to make the stage right the stage is uh, where the pa where the paper characters and the screen will be projected right and then paper character materials that you need are adhesive tap thick paper skewer picture of animal is optional if you want to create animals character you need picture of animal if you want to create human you need a picture of human if you want to create plants you need to prepare with picture of plants or anything anything that you like right but don't worry if you cannot prepare these materials I will try my best to explain to you all of the steps to make the paper puppet play I hope you can experience this as if you are doing it yourself all right now I will show to you how to make the paper puppet stage as you can see in your textbook page 70 you are required to make it like this all right but for me it's up to you it's down to your own creativity how you create your own puppet stage all right let us look at the first step cut the front back and top of the box to build a mini stage as you can see like this but remember be careful with the scissors or the cutter and then paste the white paper as a screen at the front of the cut box right as you can see here this is the mahjong paper they use the mahjong paper as a screen right so this is this will be the stage this will be the screen next is the step to make paper characters or any character you want you can see here all you need is picture of animal so that you can trace it on the thick paper all right press pictures of animals and cut them right in this picture here cheetah isn't it you can use dog rhinoceros giraffe it's up to you or you may use trees houses it's up to you right it's down to yourself you choose the character and then stick the paper characters to the skewer right like this we have done this before next is how you play the paper puppet all right poke the paper characters into the clay just like this right you poke the paper characters the skewer on the clay so that it holds the characters in place all right and after that switch on the torch and start the play right you see this girl see she switch on the torch and point it on the characters onto the characters now you can see from the screen from in front of the screen you can see these shadows isn't it the cheetah here i think this is the moss deer then the butterfly the trees here it's up to you right it depends on your what characters that you have created so this is the shadows all right on the you can see the shadow on the screen the white screen here okay now i will show to you what will happen if we make different characters and we try to move it behind the screen what will happen and you can try this at home if you have uh, create, created your own paper puppet play you can try with different characters different shapes and you try to move it for me it's more or less like this ah you see it's gonna be fun isn't it try to make different characters like this like i said just now if you cannot prepare with all of the materials to make the stage and to make the characters there are always some other way for you to play with shadow all right in this case i suggest you to play with hand shadow you only have to prepare with torch and your hand all right you point the light onto your hand and try to make these shadows Various shadows can be formed using your hands. Produce the shadows below using light from a torch. Right, this one is rabbits, spiders, dog, crocodile, and butterfly. Right, you may try this at home. Next, after we have done with the investigation, 
with the shadow play and the experiment, I want you to complete these two exercises, which is in your Science Year 2 activity book, page 43 and 44. Page 43 here, the instruction, write the correct sequence of step, steps to create a shadow play. Alright, you can see here there are six pictures. They are not in the correct order. A, B, C, D, E, and F. They are not in the correct order. So, your job here is to find out which of these picture is the first step, second step, third until the final step. You may refer to your textbook, page 70 to 71. Alright? In page 44, it is much easier activity, much easier task for you. Match the hands to the shadow. We have done this, isn't it? So, which of these belongs to the shadow on the right? Just match it. I know you can do this. Finally, I want you to remember all of the things that we have learned in Unique 6, Light and Dark. Number 1. The examples of sources of light are the sun, fire, and lamps. 2. The sun is a natural source of light. 3. An activity can be carried out easily in a bright area. 4. In the dark, we need light to carry out activities. 5. Shadow is formed when light is blocked by an object. 6. The clarity of shadows depends on the object's use. 7. Wayang Kulit and Hand Shadow Play are examples of interesting shadow games. Alright boys and girls, that's all for our lesson today. I hope you enjoy throughout the whole activity and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.